Oh, I just that shot. This is a story of how I completed one of the hardest sniping quests in Escape from Tarkov, Tarkov Shooter Part 8. So get your pizza rolls or Mountain Dew, sit back, relax. Welcome to the life of Ralph. Welcome to my journey to complete Tarkov Shooter Part 8. If you've never attempted this quest before, it's one of the tougher sniping quests in the game. The goal is to get three headshots using a bolt-action rifle on a PMC without dying. Recently, they updated it to you could do it on any map where you used to only have to do it on woods. Well, woods is probably one of the better sniping maps in the game. So I'm going to attempt to complete this quest on woods today. We spawned over by outskirts, and I'll be honest with you. Right as we spawned in, I had to use the restroom in real life. So we sat by the extract for about four minutes, came back, and well, we're getting a little bit of a late start. So I decided to push along the beach and do a little looting along the way. I hear some sniping in the distance, and I decide to go investigate. I know there's some good rocks that I can lay prone on and see if I can't pick anybody out. And of course, grabbing some loot along the way. Oh. Looks like there's some people over by the scab house. Find some scabs over there. I'm gonna get on these rocks up here, I think. See if I can't get a good vantage point. It sounds like Mosin, folks. Let's lay right here and see. Not seeing anything. You can see a whole lot more in the snow. I bet you they come this way. Where are you? It's now quiet. I really hope the scavs didn't kill my friends. Gotta make sure no one's coming from the attachment building or that side. And after it felt like they had moved on, I was wrong. Oh, oh, that's behind me. What the heck? Scav over here. Wait. Oh, scav's right there. Oh. Ah, grenade! Hello? Oh! Whew. That was ricocheted off my head! Wait, is that another scav? I'll let the scav deal with the other player over there. This is stressful. I'm gonna get back on my original spot. I decided to get back to my original spot not try to force anything. I find a lot of the times when I force combat in this game, it never goes well for me. Oh, another person's still over there. Oh, that's what says what? this guy come from? Oh, I whiffed. Ooh. Oh, he hit me right in the thorax. Oh, he, wow. Almost one tapped me in the thorax. Well, it's our first target of shooter part eight. That was obviously a headshot. And now it's time to put my life back together and Ready for the next fight. Drink some water. Just a flesh wound, right? Well, that was one. That person came from, like, sawmill area. I don't know if that person was involved in these fights over here to my right. Put my arm back on right now. After doing some surgery, it was time to see what 
person I killed had on him. Even though there's still some shooting going on over by the extract at outskirts, I decided to grab the tag at least and see what I was dealing with. And he had a M700 with a little scope on it, which is always maybe someone working on the same quest I was or some sort of sniping quest. After grabbing a few things of loot, I decided to get back to my perch and see if those people that were fighting over by Scav House and outskirts have decided to come in my sight of view. But again, I hear more shots to my right. So I begin to investigate and see if I can't spot someone in the woods by attachment when... Oh! I finished Shooter Born in the Woods. <laughs> That's two. I need one more. I can feel my hands are shaking right now. And well... Another five minutes went by of quietness when I finally saw his teammate. Or is that an AI scav? Oh. Where are you going, bud? Where are you going, bud? Oh, whoop. that's AI. <laughs> oh. No! I hit him in the thorax! Oh! Oh my goodness, I choked. GG's. Well, since I finished Shooter Born on the Woods, I decided to take it to Interchange. That's the next one I'm working on for Shooter Born in Heaven. We get a good spawn kind of by Ollie. I like this spawn because I know there's a spawn to my right on the road. Maybe we can catch some people looking around for me potentially, or just AFK in general. I'll take any Shooter Borns I can get. Oh, one dead. Yeah, I called that. He was scanning, I think. Scan there. Can't see anyone. I decided to reposition myself a little bit to give myself a little bit of cover if there was someone still there. And well. Is that a body? Oh, that was somebody. Oh, he ran off. Where are you going, bud? I lost him. I decided to reposition a little bit closer with a little bit better coverage. I noticed that he ran straight and did not run off to the right. So he either ran into scav camp or I just may have missed him running off to the right. I waited around for about 10 minutes and no one was seen. So I started to wonder if it was time just to clear out the area and find out if his teammate was sitting there or not. Well, it's been about 10 minutes since I killed his friend, so I haven't seen a single movement. I'm gonna start clearing and we'll push towards the body, I guess. I'm definitely not a person that can sit and watch body for more than five or 10 minutes. A lot of times it becomes a calculation of risk versus reward. If I was him, I maybe would reposition to where the sign was at or by blue fence if I cleared that area out, but that grenade earlier by scav camp has me thinking that person was trying to push back that way and met, a, met another, maybe not survived. Oh, they're an ollie. Oh, airdrop's coming in. Cover your ears. This is going to be a good opportunity for me to push forward here. As I'm making sure no one's camping in this divot here, which they're not. No one's in that truck. I not seen anyone in the van, too. Or bus, I mean. All right, I'm running off his body. F it. Send it. Oh my goodness. Put this out here before I try to loot this person. Whoo! Karund excels. I yeah. Oh, what a difference with the headset, too, for sound. Holy cow. Yeah, I'll take the Karund and Black, Black Rock as PP as well. This would be a good gun for me to kind of clear this out. I think his friend just left him. Had pretty good cover there by the ambulance, so. And the care package is right there. I don't like that at all. That's gonna attract some player scabs or whatnot. Uh, I think I'm just gonna book it for Railway Xfil and reset. Oh, let me rub some Vaseline all over my body. Uh, I'm nervous. Knees, weak, arms are heavy. Mom's spaghetti.
I'll throw a grenade over there, making sure there's no scabs over there. All right, no scabs at least. I'm gonna throw one on the other side over here and see if what is it camping on this other side right here. Bad nade, bad nade. I was trying to grenade over here in case he was camping right there. Oh my god, I almost killed myself. And I did such a poor job of clearing it. Oh man, I almost sent myself back to the grave. As I begin moving closer to extract that railway, I decide to take it a little bit slower just to make sure there's no one sitting around an extract. It's also around the same time when PMTs usually extract. I'm trying to keep an eye out here, make sure I don't get surprised by Lenny the Exfil camper. Oh, hello! I'm gonna bolt action out here real quick. Where are you going, bud? That's two. Now does he have a teammate or? Oh, he's got a friend. Where are you going? Oh, I whiffed it. I'm at two headshots now. I need to try and get this third guy. I'm right at the X-Fell too. That's the, that's, there's a dude I killed. He ran down the divot. Oh my gosh, what is this going on? Why am I stuck in this? Hello? Where'd you go? After not seeing him in the divot, I decided to try to reposition myself in a different location from where I originally shot both of them. That way I have the advantage if they did decide that I shot from that area, I would no longer be there. Repositioning as a sniper is a very critical thing to do because you basically have one shot. You miss that shot, you could be dead, especially if they have an automatic gun. I'm crawling right now in the snow because I'm trying to reduce them seeing me running around trying to reposition. A lot of times I find myself looking around for people running and stuff. They're just never to be seen and they probably decide to crawl somewhere. I end up crawling to a good location where I feel like I have a good overview of where the person may have gone. And I was right. I finally was able to spot and locate the person I was chasing right by the train tracks. Ooh, where are you going, dude? Oh, I hit the cement. He knows. What? He's fighting somebody else. Shake. My hands are shaking right now. Flank back where I originally was. Oh, I didn't, oh, there's another dead body right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a green helmet guy. Oh, ah, uh, I am shaking. I'm pretty sure. Oh, stand still. I should have taken the shot. Why did I not do that? I hesitated. My hand. Oh, he's back. Oh, man, I don't know why I just stood up right now. I'm excited to lay back down. Oh, baby. I need to get on out. I don't even want to loot. One stim, two stim, three stim. Let's rock and roll. See ya. I'm not even looking back. Nope, nope, nope. That person's probably very confused right now of what happened. Heard someone else running. He's probably standing still. Please don't shoot me from behind. Please don't shoot me from behind. Please don't shoot me from behind. I'm not looking back there either. I want to get out. I'm running and dodging and weaving. I'm running and dodging and weaving. I really hope there's no extra camper here. I'm waiting Lenny with a KS-23. Right around this corner. Gonna blast me in my kneecap. Send me back to the... Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's go! Three bolt action rifle shots, three headshots of all maps to complete Tarkov Shooter Part 8. Interchange was not on that bingo card. What a raid. And yeah, I don't even care about the loot there. I need to get extracted and survived. And that is how Ralph completed Tarkov Shooter Part 8. Like I said, one of the hardest quests in the game. And doing it on interchange was not on my bingo card. Last wipe I did it on customs wasn't my bingo card either. Oh man, the adrenaline is pumping. What a performance on interchange. I think, I think myself and Ralph are gonna, I think it's time to take a cold shower. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you did. Ralph will see you again soon in Tarkov.